Explant. Joining us right now is Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers. She serves as the chair of the House Republican Conference. And uh, Chair McMorris th Rogers, thank you for being with us this morning. Great to be with you. Thanks. Let's talk about what's happening in the Senate because uh, definitely clearing this uh, latest hurdle puts them uh, with some momentum trying to get towards a vote in the Senate. Um, as, as somebody who's sitting on the House side watching this happen, what, what do you think about the differences between the House plan and the Senate plan at this point? You know, I'm, I'm very encouraged. I, I'm most encouraged as to what tax reform means for hardworking men and women all across the country, for the economy. I'm encouraged that the Senate is, is moving forward uh, to come up with a vote even this week. That means that we would be on track to get uh, the differences between the House and the Senate worked out and a, a bill ultimately on the president's desk by Christmas, which has been our goal. Uh, but it's very important that the Senate take action this week. And we've even been told in the House, uh, the majority leader told us yesterday uh, that we might even work on the weekend uh, hmm. on Saturday or come back on Monday to expedite a conference committee so that we can keep this going. Okay, well, let's talk about that. In conference committee, you'd be looking at the differences between the two bills. And um, right now, the Senate bill does have some pretty uh, explicit differences from the House bill. And the House bill was crafted well, very no, carefully no, to try no and win as many that. votes as possible. What do you think about some of those changes, including, let, let's just start with the idea that SALT deductions, uh, what the Senate has proposed versus what the House has proposed. The uh, Senate right. it doesn't leave anything on the table there. Right. Uh, I think it's very important to recognize that for the most part we're headed in the same direction, that we have a framework that was agreed upon by the House and Senate and the President, and that has really kept us uh, moving on the right track. There are some differences. The SALT deduction is, a, is one of the major uh, topics. This is the state and local tax deduction. Uh, it's especially impacting those high tax states. Right. We're seeing that, uh, um, and our members, we reached uh, an agreement so that for middle-income Americans, they would benefit from a $10,000 property tax deduction, which we thought was very important so, so that we could ensure that middle-income Americans, we want everyone to benefit from tax reform, mm -hmm. and that was a, an agreement that we made in the House that we hope that the Senate will, will come over to the House right. position. Kevin, Kevin Brady has said that that's pretty non-negotiable, so I'm guessing that's something that in, in conference, if it doesn't get worked out, is a big problem. Uh, that, is a, that's a, that was a big priority for the House, uh, and we think that it's an appropriate position to take. Clearly, we have some states that have been gaming the system. Uh, that they have high taxes and then they've been getting the deduction from the federal government. Uh, but the property tax deduction is a way to really target low middle income Americans mm -hmm. uh, and make sure that they benefit from this tax relief. Uh, another thing that has been seen as non-negotiable, at least from the president's position, is the idea that he wants 20 percent. He'd actually like to see 15 percent for corporate taxes. He says 20 percent is non-negotiable, but there is an amendment that's going to be voted on either today or tomorrow, most likely, that's being offered from the Senate that would raise that corporate tax to 22 percent in exchange for paying for some child care uh, supplements in return. How do you feel about that? If corporate taxes went to 22%, right. is that a deal breaker for you or no? Well, I want that, that rate as low as possible. Uh, we've had a stagnant economy. We've had stagnant wages. And getting that, that rate as low as possible has to be uh, one of our top priorities. We have the highest corporate tax rate now in the world. And you see companies that are moving overseas, moving their headquarters, moving jobs overseas rather than continuing to invest and expand in America. That's why it's so important to keep that low. Um, I'm also very excited about... Uh, what we did to expand the child tax credit. I know that we're looking at options to extend that even further. As you think about hardworking men and women that have children that, at home, that is a, an important piece. And we, we need to continue to look at options to potentially increase it even further. Uh, Chair McMorris Rogers, uh, you're, you're handicapping on this. What, what, what do you think the odds are that this gets passed before, before Christmas and signed into uh, we, law? We are on track. I am very hopeful. Um, uh, there is a there is a just a, a real desire by the Republicans in the House and the Senate. Clearly, it's a priority of President Trump. He has he's long said uh, we got to get this done by president. We're keeping our eye on the goal, and I I am very hopeful by the progress that we're making. Congresswoman, thank you for your time this morning. Good to be with.